Well, good Saturday morning. Here we are. Me and Kamikaze, he's up with his T28 already. Winds out of the south. And it's supposed to go 15 miles an hour, so that'd be nice. There, look at there. Upside down. So we bring the heavy planes flying in the wind. Captain Glue Gun's working and Captain Rick's on the road on his motorcycle. So just us. I don't know if Jim's gonna show up. I got my SU. Got my Cessna. And my little electric car. Okay. Eh, not for a month. You gotta work and pay off that motorcycle. There you go. I guess we can assume he's broke. Ah, uh, no. No? I think he's just getting some extra money to just get him that motorcycle. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good way to do it, I guess. Well, it is. Just on Saturdays. He's just gonna work four Saturdays and I don't know how much that thing is. He's supposed to get about twenty thousand dollars for what he's doing. Wow, that's pretty darn good. I don't know if that includes the materials that he's got to buy and you know all that. I know it, Jeff. <clears throat> dark clouds over there. Yeah, I didn't look at radar or weather, but I just almost lost it in that one dark cloud. I don't think it's supposed to rain. Just be hot. Yep. We're in, we're into that time of year. Uh -oh. All right. Little skips, okay. Not too bad. Okay, we're going up for the second flight. Beautiful clouds. Yeah. There we go. I didn't do it last time. They got four minutes? Yeah, I got it. Ten. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Here we go. I can usually tell when it starts getting weak. I'm going to hit full throttle if it doesn't do anything. There you go. That's not hard doing that, is it? Well, there was a time that was a lot harder. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There was a time it was just hard getting it off the ground. <laughs> yeah. We knew it was coming down. Yeah, well, we got them in pieces. Yeah. <laughs> we don't bring the bags anymore. Yeah, we don't need no stinking bags. We don't need no bags. Not anymore. Well, most of them now are not too bad. They're big chunks. Not obliterated. <laughs> I gotta go back through and get some of those pictures of Jeff holding his busted up planes. <laughs> well, we come a long way from that. Hey, it looks like we got some holes in the sky. Yeah, it's clearing up. So it's get hot, about 95 today. Yeah, that's what I heard. Summer's coming in. I tell you what, Roxy doesn't like the heat. Well, yeah. I'll put the fan out with us because I've been working pretty hard and I have to work in the heat. And I put the fan out there with us. And man, she lays down some of that fan. Yeah, she's an indoor dog. Yeah, she is. There you go. Whoa.
Okay, new man on the camera. Here we go. And Commander Eagle Eye is about to take up his Dynam SU-26M. We got a little bit of wind. That's, uh, we don't know what it is. It's coming from the south, southeast. And we got a, we got a car. Oh, we got a car, we got a car. Don't, don't hit our plane. Don't hit our plane. <laughs> Yeah, tell him don't let his dog eat our planes. Okay, so here we go. The crowd's starting to arrive. <laughs> oh, I was telling Jeff, I can't show him the video because you had not got it up yet. I tried three times and it would not load up. It keeps coming back with an error. Hmm. Yeah. Wiped everything clean. I got to start all over. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay, here we go. First flight of the day for this bad boy. Jack, Jack, no. <laughs> <laughs> he likes getting out, uh, hold of them uh, remote control cars. Oh. And here we go. And goes. Into the Texas gray sky. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just riding the current. Okay, and there we go. We got a battery, a series of aileron rows. Now we're going into a dive. I hope that's on purpose. Yeah. Now we're coming across, probably setting out for our next maneuver in there. We go. It's the Commander Eagle Eyes Special, whatever that is. Now he's inverted. Of course, I shouldn't have to tell you this, but I am the Howard Cosell of Masters of the Wind, the announcer of announcers. And here he comes, inverted. Look at wheels up. And, not only that, but look how close to the ground he is. My God, he's a flick of the wrist away from turning it into pieces of styrofoam. Wouldn't even make good firewood once you, once you go in like that. There we go. No, no, no. Leave it alone. Oh, we're going to have an exciting landing. Oh, and look at there. It's like it just goes up there and dies. Not the first one. Yeah. <laughs> actually, not about the. the actually, about the first ten are not fun. You learn all new foul language on the first ones. There you go. Give him. Yeah, this is warning. Oh, looky there. Just doing a little hover, a little harrier move. Just hanging up there in the breeze. Now we got the strafing run. Whoa! And an Immelman. Yeah. Uh oh, and there he goes with the knife edge. Very well executed. And then I lost him. I don't know where he's at. Oh, he's doing tricks. There we go. We're back. We're gonna have to fire the cameraman. Those wizards don't grow electric ones. Oh, they do. How much is one in cost? Oh, thirty. Yeah, but then you got then you got the battery and the radio. Ooh. And looky there, what a nice landing. Got 
I can say it's been many years since I've seen flying that good. Actually, it was about a week ago, I think. And it was Commander Eagle Eye. Take a bow, Commander Eagle Eye. Woohoo! Okay, so Kamikaze is going to take up his wing. We got about the 10 mile an hour wind right now out of the south. Well, here we go. Chunk it! Whoa, whoa, look at that. He just climbed right up there. Well, Kama Crazy's getting after it now. We lock our wings. Of course, I gotta get mine fixed. I got a servo to replace on it. Match the other one, recalibrate it all. Ah. <laughs> yeah, they've got a uh, airfield back behind us on the other side of the freeway. I think, I'm not sure what their name is, but, uh, you know, they got a big landing strip and... What, for these kinds? Air, yeah, all kinds. Or real planes? Yes. No, no, no. RC. Oh, really? Yeah. I know on uh, Random Mill Road, you keep following it out like towards you uh... Yeah, that way? Yeah, precinct? Yeah, that's yeah. where it's at. Oh, okay. Both times, those are right there. If yeah. they're flying, you can usually hear them. Yeah. And there should be a bunch of... Oh no, that's electric. Really? Yeah. Well, that one will fly about 20 minutes. Wow. That's that propeller making that sound? Yeah. Wow. That's a little old prop, boy. It's cutting into the wind. Yeah, it is. Looks like a bird. That's about the neatest plane because you can pack it up and take it anywhere. Yeah, yeah it's so flat. Like I said, it'll handle any wind you put at it. And of course. Like a hawk, don't it, no way. Oh yeah. Yeah, he can take it up and shut the motor off and he can probably stay up five minutes without any power. Yeah, I like it. That one's about $75. Yeah. And if you crash that one, you don't have to worry too much about it. It'll glue right back together real easy. Really? Yeah. That one's kind of made out of a flexible foam, like yeah. uh, flip-flops. Yeah. It's called EPP foam. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Now these other planes, that's hard styrofoam, and when they hit, they just blow to pieces. They blow up. Whoa! Yeah, it's like it's kind of like a packing uh, Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to even tear it apart. Like might get some rain, huh? I'm, I, I don't know. It, whoa! What happened? You lost the prop. The battery out. Oh, Kamikaze thinks he, when he whipped it, threw the battery out over there somewhere. I guess I better go over and help look for it. Okay, they found the battery. Maybe not the prop.